All right, in this scene, we're going to talk about the anti-muscarinix, and it's going to be represented by this guy over here who has an ant going through his mustache. Ant in mustache for anti-muscarinic. And we're going to focus on two in this scene, and those are going to be the ones who are, that are used to treat asthma and COPD. And if you want to remember that we're talking about the ones that are treating asthma, we have this guy over here who's like, I wonder what's going on on this island over here. I'm going to ask Ma. So he wants to ask Ma. Ask Ma for asthma. Okay, so let's take a look at what's going on over here. So here he notices this tie and this eye on the tropical island. Tie and eye that are tropical. Tie that's tropical for tyotropium, and eye that's tropical for ipotropium. Tyotropium and ipotropium are muscarinic antagonists, as we mentioned. And they competitively block muscarinic receptors, specifically M3. That's why we have this tree back over here. But interestingly, it's not a regular tree. It's actually a broccoli tree. A broccoli tree that's very bronchodilated. Now what happened is that this guy over here stepped on this button and that keeps the broccoli dilated. It's supposed to go down, it's supposed to constrict, but somehow he made it stay up. And that's what muscarinic antagonists do. They prevent bronchoconstriction. We made the tie a little bit longer over here to help us remember that tyotropium is long acting. And as a muscarinic antagonist, we have this cactus down here to help us remember that dryness is an adverse effect. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this scene on the muscarinic antagonists, tyotropium and ipotropium. Take care.